As a result of the Twitter rebrand, we at Microsoft have decided that the name Windows and the original logo will be retired. However, this is the start of a new era that we hope you will enjoy. Welcome to WXP. Oh cool, another D brand. Now instead of transparent windows, we get a lame opaque W that's actually a double L. And you can already do pretty much everything on windows, it doesn't need an overly abstract name. Time to put the windows back in. <coughs> you have reached your episodic limit in windows errors. Please subscribe to Windows 365 to continue encountering errors, or you can wait an episode. 18 years later, it's the year 2041, and we are changing the way you see Windows. As of September 3rd of 2041, our logo will encounter yet another makeover, and the name Windows will be rebranded to Circulation XP8. This change is mandatory, and it will take effect on four days' time. Oh great, instead of the OG Windows, we get another rebrand this time, instead of the overly simplistic Windows, we get a near futuristic Windows, but with no corners for all of the four squares, seemingly it looks overly simplistic, but with a circle attached to it in the middle. Oh and don't forget the squares are in different heights, some squares are short, and some squares are long. The futuristic Windows isn't normal like the OG Windows, and the name Circulation XP8 doesn't ring a bell, although it looks like Windows, it doesn't need to be as abstract as that. The only way to return to the way it was is by Windows Logic, which I will now demonstrate. Windows Logic Go. The previous task completed successfully. Some changes have been reverted back to normal. However, the subscription renewal for extending your Windows XP session is to expire in less than 5 days. Should you attempt to use your Windows XP session any longer, please renew your subscription before the deadline. Figures. Well, I will have to go tell Mike to bring me a new subscription card, because mine's to expire in five days. Are you certain that I might bring you a subscription card? I'm not so sure if I have enough money to buy you a card, but I do have the unlimited subscription card that I got somewhere up in the attic. There are a whole collection of them, so use them as you wish wisely. Okay Mike, I'll use that subscription card to surpass that renewal. I might just extend my session a little longer by using Windows Logic and a little bit of magic. Seven months later, after the release of the rebranded Windows. It's officially January 16th, 2042, and yes, a new makeover has officially been launched. Since we've decided to rebrand itself with a new name and logo, we welcome you the latest edition of Circulation Regularity Cycle, also known as Circulation Cycle C17. This change is mandatory, and it will take effect in less than 10 days. Attempting to undertake the previous change is not obligatory, as we're trying to push over the future for our company and making this change voluntary. But, if this change is optional, the circulation system restore icon is always there to undo these changes and put your personal computer back the way it was. That sounds good and all, but I fear that this rebranding might be Microsoft's next big thing, and the same goes for Twitter, which, is now X for the given time being, and I didn't like the name circulation in the first place, it kind of just looks like another name for the Microsoft family of operating systems. David, that's not true. The rebranding craze happened seven months ago. I know that Zira, but what worries most is the name Circulation Cycle C17. Can't they think of a better name like that, like Windows Circulate? And the logo looks quite off, and the corners almost look like Windows 1.0's counterpart, what with the squares in different heights. So the only feasible cause for me to revert this never released operating system back to where it came from is by Windows Logic, in which I will now do so here. Windows Logic Go. Due to the mandatory change taking effect, attempting to use Windows Logic is also non-obligatory. However, surpassing this error is strongly encouraged at the moment. If you wish to do so now, please click on this button to return to executing the command. Well I think circulation regularity cycle is trying to be so strict at the given time, so it would even hurt to say that I must resume using Windows logic to bring back the way it should be. Oh, and surpassing this error will do the trick. Okay, Windows logic go. Do you wish to turn back the clock to the way it was before? Circulation regularity cycle will not be responsible for these changes to take effect. But however, it is still optional to do so, even if the system restore application program is not affected by this change. Seeming that this is the only option to return to Windows 11, I guess I might have the chance to do it. Resuming Windows logic. The previous task completed successfully, and some changes have been reverted to normal. However, the renewal is to expire in less than 7 days, so should you attempt to use Windows 11 any longer, please renew your subscription before the end of the day. Um, I really don't think that's possible, 
since Mike's unlimited renewal subscription cards are up somewhere in the attic, but I will see if I use these subscription cards just to make sure I will stay safe. No need to worry, David. I've found some of the unlimited subscription cards that work well with other Windows operating systems, and this will surpass the 14-day trial session in an instant. Thanks Zira, now I'll need to use the following code to surpass this error. More Windows Logic Go.